Mackey EM 93M microphone. Is it any good? Does it suck? Let's find out. Welcome to my really professional studio. My kids are playing TF2 upstairs and I'm moving studios so it's a mess. But I will tell you how this mic works in my opinions. I couldn't find a video anywhere with... I couldn't find a video anywhere of an actual audio example. Mackie has a promo with a bunch of these microphones all together. It's just background music that's way too loud. You can't hear any samples. It's terrible. It really is terrible. Why? So I thought I'd make one for you. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get some audio examples. This is my X-T5 Fujifilm, and you're listening to the stereo mics. You will hear a difference. If I, if I scratch that side of the mic, you get that sound. And this side, you can hear the other side, right? There's two channels, you hear it both sides. It sounds great, it does have its drawbacks, and we'll get into that. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna compare the xt 5s built-in microphone with the Mackie, and see which one you think sounds better. I think there's a case for both of them. Let's see what it sounds like with this attached. And this is what the Mackie mics. Sorry about that, I had to put some tape over my kids' mouths. It's okay, it's just masking tape. So now you're hearing, I forgot the name of the mic. I want to say Samson. It's not Samson. Is it Samsonite? <sighs> Mackie. It's Mackie. I think you'll agree it definitely sounds better, but there's a couple drawbacks and I'm going to get to them right now. One is camera movement. If you touch the camera a lot and you're really loud with how you operate the functions, this thing amplifies that by a factor of probably three or four compared to the built-in microphones. I'm just going to touch the wire that plugs into the camera and into the back of the microphone. So I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm, I'm not like flicking it hard. I'm just gently rubbing it. It's very loud. I have a little L bracket for my camera and a, the front handle, that wooden piece. Maybe I'll put a picture of it here. And if I just gently rub that, my finger down the side, listen how it sounds. I hope you can hear that. I'm sure you can. I won't be amplifying that signal at all in post. It'll be exactly as it would sound in your video. The second issue I have with this microphone is it has a frequency that's kind of funky. It's, it just peaks up around 700 hertz. It's a little little less, maybe 693. Actually, I'll show you a little clip of me practicing, brainstorming how I was gonna do this video last night. Uh, and I almost exactly guessed the frequency, which is insane. Humble brag, right? That annoying sound of the, of the squeaking sound from the cable though, it's got like this specific pitch to it. I'll have to figure out what it is. I don't know, like, uh... 687 hertz. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm getting, yeah, I'm, I'm getting too nerdy. Anyways, my point to you is you'll have to notch that little frequency out if you'd like to use it. I'm sure with another camera body, it would sound a little bit different, maybe higher or lower slightly. But what you do is the boost and sweep method where you would boost up a little bit of the EQ, just open up your EQ plugin on your video software and just slide it back and forth until you hear that funky sound. And then when you find it, just turn it down, invert it, by three, four, five dB. There's no fast rules. Just use your ears. If you hear something funky with it, take that out. So that may be inconvenient for somebody who wants to just shoot a video real quick, upload it and go. This is probably not the mic for you. This is the reason why this microphone is so inexpensive or cheap compared to another microphone in its class. This has very rigid, hard plastic right here. And all that sound travels right through this and straight into the microphone and gives you all that extra handling noise. If you look at the Rode shotgun mic that many people use, it's got a very soft, rubbery material. That's a lot better absorbing those vibrations. And sound is vibrations after all, so you don't want that entering in from this or from this into the microphone. That's why you want them isolated. This one doesn't have that feature. It's just this hard, hear that? And seriously, Mackie, green, why? So this is a little of the sound before. Now I'm just talking to give you some examples of the comparison between before and after. There are no solutions, only trade-offs. Both of these have pros and cons. And one of the cons is my furnace is kicking on right now. It's great that I'm warm. On the other hand, I'm suffering due to sound quality. So suffer with me. When would you use this and when would you use your onboard? Here's my thoughts on that. If you're going to be talking with people across the room 15, 20 feet away and you want a little bit extra something, this is going to help you. It will sound clearer and more full. If you do a lot of shoot and narrate, you got your camera in your hands and you're videotaping and now it's really kicking on. Yep, there's the old furnace. If you're going to be recording your own voice, essentially narrating, you're walking around filming people, and you're speaking into the built-in microphones, 
those are great they're fantastic for that not so great to hear somebody that's 15 feet away hopefully that will help you make the right decision whether this mic is worth it for you or not should you buy it sure if you're in a pinch you could use this just know that if you do use it and if you want professional sounding audio not like what i have going on here you're going to need to edit it in post in your video software using an equalizer to cut out those frequencies and remember that the handling noise is amplified as long as you're conscious of how you're holding the camera if you're fidgeting moving your fingers around you're gonna have issues and that will be amplified and baked into your sound. You can't really do a whole lot about that without some expensive software and a lot of hard work. So I think there's a case for both using this mic and not. If you appreciate that I made this video, leave a comment down below and let me know. When I wanna buy something, the first thing I do is look for a review. If you appreciate my take on this microphone, maybe I'll do some more videos like this. I'd really love to, I really enjoy teaching. So subscribe if you want. If there's a product you'd like to see me review, put it in the comments. Well, I gotta get upstairs because my family's going nuts and my kids are running all over the place, destroying my house. I'll see you next time.